Hey guys, welcome back to Sunny Side Up True Crime ASMR. So today I wanted to talk about the Delphi case again. I talked about it several months ago and I gave you like a rundown about the case and what I felt at the time was my theory. And at the end I'll tell you again what my theory is but there's like some news in the case and I was reading about what the new revelations were but they were kind of things we'd already heard well first of all we all know that in 2017 friends Libby and Abby uh, went on a trail, a walking trail, and they went missing on the 13th, and then on the next day, their bodies were found, and they found evidence on Libby's phone that she had videotaped on her phone somebody saying down the hill to them and an image of him walking on the railroad track bridge so basically the new revelations are that the bodies were staged and that the uh, murderer took a souvenir but i had already heard this years ago from the prosecutor and I'm sure most of you that follow the case have heard that too he said that somebody took a souvenir basically he did say that now the bodies were staged I don't know that the prosecutor said that but that has always been a rumor I think possibly someone in the search party leaked that information and it became to where people didn't know if it was real or if it was a rumor. So either way, it's disturbing, like, I don't know, like murder is disturbing anyway, but when people take the time to like pose the bodies and take a souvenir, it, it even makes it like a worse, like a whole new level. Like I've always said, I wouldn't be afraid to like live in a house with OJ Simpson. Cause his, you know, he's a murderer, but his murder was out of passion and towards a certain person which still wasn't right and it's still horrible, but he doesn't pose a threat to like the general public. But then there's people who are like this guy, the Delphi murderer, where he not only wants to murder someone, but he wants to like mess around with the bodies and take a souvenir. Like what kind of creep are you that you want to do all this extra stuff? So then the other news is coming out is apparently Ron Logan's ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or ex-lover said she thought he had something to do with it and he wanted her to give an alibi that day. Well, why is she just now saying this? Is she saying this because he's gone? Like, what kind of person are you that you would wait until the murderer dies and then you go and tell that that's the murderer? Like, he could have killed so many other people. So, I don't really believe that. I don't really think Ron Logan had anything to do with it because I just feel like he was somebody that 
Abby and Libby could have outran. They probably could have just pushed him over. And I don't think he could manage that bridge as well as the guy on the video. So I don't think, I don't think Ron Logan really had anything to do with it. Um, I think he might unknowingly know of someone who did it because they might know of his property and might work for him on his property or something like that. So that's another thing that's come out recently. Now, I don't remember if I touched on the um, Keegan Klein, I think his name is. I don't know if I touched on that in my last um, Delphi video, but I feel like he definitely had something to do with it. I feel like either he, I gotta lock my doors again, I keep forgetting to lock my doors. I feel like he, I really feel like he did it, but I don't know that he looks so much like the guy on the video. A lot of people are saying the guy on the video looks older and that it could be his dad. I feel like if it's his dad, he would tell on his dad. He wouldn't just allude to the fact that it was his dad like he did in his interview with detectives. He kind of said, like, something about how his, he thinks his dad could have done it. I don't think he would take the rap for his dad. And I don't agree that, I don't agree that a lot of people used the Anthony Schatz account. A lot of people are saying, oh, those kind of people share passwords and they share accounts, but I don't agree. I don't believe that. Because then you're trusting that that other person's not gonna tell on you. You're giving them like your good leads and your good, um, you know, if you got a good thing going, like finding girls on Instagram, why would you be letting some other guy possibly ruin that for you by not saying the right things, you know? So I don't agree that he shared the password. The only thing I could think of is if him and his dad talked openly about liking certain types of girls and Anthony or Keegan um, told his dad, oh, well, I'm supposed to meet these two girls at the bridge, but I can't because I'm, you know, I have a job interview or whatever. And the dad took that opportunity but the dad took that opportunity, but he didn't tell his son he did that. I could see that happening where the dad overheard about an opportunity and took advantage of it. And then the son kind of knows that the dad knew about it, but he can't say anything because it just makes them all look guilty. So I could see that going on. But I definitely think Keegan has something to do with it. If he's the last one to talk to her on social media and apparently um, in the interview with the police, he said, they said, did you get any pictures from Libby? And he said, no, but her friend gave me pictures. So I'm thinking Abby gave him pictures. I'm really surprised. I was really surprised when I heard Libby 
had communicated with them because um, there was an interview with Kelsey one time and Kelsey, they said, you know, was Libby maybe meeting a guy? And she said, Libby was into softball and she wasn't into boys, but she couldn't say the same for Abby is what she said. So it had me thinking that if there was a catfish going on, it was Abby. So I was kind of surprised to hear that Libby talked to him. Unless Abby like was grounded from Instagram or something. And Libby was talking to him for Abby. And then when Abby spent the night, you really have to go this close, dude. I swear. I'm in a parking lot. I'm all by myself in this parking space and people just have to like swing so close to my car. Like they just can't avoid it. So that could be it that Abby was grounded from Instagram or her phone and Libby, you know, had her spend the night and let her use her phone that night. Something like that. But that, I had two theories. And the first theory was that it was just like random and some guy just happened upon them. Um, maybe he'd been like having this scenario in his head for years and it finally happened where there was some girls alone. So, um, that was one of my theories. And my other theory was the catfish theory. Cause that came out as a rumor a long time ago. It was actually called the Snapchat murders in a lot of places. Um, there was always some thought that they were talking to somebody on social media and was supposed to meet them and they weren't who they said they were. So I guess a lot of rumors are true. So it has me re-looking at a lot of the rumors of all these cases because it's almost like there is truth to these rumors. I feel like Keegan is Anthony Schatz. He made arrangements to meet them. They see that he's not who he said he was and that's where like creepy guy and all that comes into play that they said on the video and then he kills them possibly that is if he could be the one on video and i'm i'm not sure that he's the one on video And I guess I'd have to listen to his voice again to see if his voice sounds the same. And he said that the police took a hair sample and DNA sample from him. So I'm starting to think the police don't have enough evidence to charge him or his DNA doesn't match whatever they have on file for the case, but another rumor I'd heard was that the DNA that they have comes from a cigarette that was nearby. And they don't even know if, like they really can't prove that the d cigarette came from the murderer. So, I don't know but you almost would think if they had enough evidence that they would make an arrest by now or make a charge by now. And it kind of makes sense too, like how um, Kelsey in a, um, like,
like in a video she did one time, she said, they said, aren't you afraid that he's on the loose? And she said, if it's who I think it is, no. So maybe she knew, maybe the family knew about Keegan and she just didn't feel like he was a threat to her. Basically, the new info that come out is really not new. It's like the rumors we've heard already. Because there have been people who still think it's Ron Logan. You know, there's people that undoubtedly believe that it's Ron Logan that did it. But I don't think he's the one on the video. I don't think it's Ron Logan, but I think Keegan, it could be Keegan. And I know it's, it could be his dad, like his dad, um, before he privated his Facebook, I was looking at his dad's Facebook and he talked about like a knee or hip issue that he'd had a long time and, um, Remember how the police were saying that the guy walks with a, a limp or something? And a lot of people said it was because of the the terrain he was walking on that it was looked like he was walking with a limp, but Keegan's dad had a knee or hip problem. So that's possible to be him. And this is the other thing. If they do have DNA evidence and they took Keegan's hair and DNA, it would show up, like if it was really the dad that did it, it would show up still as a partial match because he has 50% of his dad's DNA. So... So either the DNA evidence is not something they can use, it's not matching, or it's just a tactic they use to like scare people. And they really don't have like DNA. So I just wanted to discuss a little bit of what's going on with the Delphi case and I'm just not one on this channel I like to talk about all different cases and I like to revisit different theories but I don't like to be like some channels who only talk about one case and they end up having nothing to talk about so they make stuff up and you know what I mean I don't want to ever be like that I want it to always be like stuff I heard or a new theory I'm thinking of but I don't want to like get paranoid and start making stuff up on people and like ruining people's reputations so really everything I say is my opinion I have no idea the truth you know and we can only hope the cops find out the truth someday so, thank you to all my subscribers, and I'll see you in my next video.